Hi guys, welcome to a tutorial video on how I make my script AI for my videos. I noticed a lot of you have been asking me lately, so I figured it was probably time to make a tutorial on how to do this. So, really, it's pretty basic, but I have a couple tricks that I'll show you since I've probably kept them to myself for way too long. So, anyway, the first thing that I always do here, like, so I'm, I'm at the um, North Wilkes Pro map. I'll put a link in the description to get this map. It's nice map. Anyway, um, so what I usually do is when I'm recording, I figured out that since the AI are so bad at holding their lines in the corners, it is best to record with a slower vehicle. So instead, so when I do crashes with like the new Gen 7 car, I didn't actually record the lines with the Gen 7 car. So I, what I use is the D series, and I made a special config. So this config is just the normal race one, except the engine is the 6.9 liter V8. That's really all that I changed because I didn't really need to change anything else. So this, so what this truck is is that it is fast enough that the AI don't look slow, but slow enough that the AI don't crash out of control constantly. So now that I have my vehicle, what I would do is I'd open the world editor and then um, move the truck to wherever I want it to be. So in this case, I'll just start it right there. So like for this example, I'm just going to do like maybe uh, like uh, let's just do four cars since that would be easiest. So anyway, you got uh, you have to set them up in a grid, and since this is like a short track, I would um, space them out a little bit more than what I have. So like you see, like it's so they don't end up bumping into each other a little too much. So just resetting the home position, and then to get to to start recording script AI. What you want to do is you want to hit the window button and then go down to gameplay and you should see an option that says script AI manager. When you click on that you can see your vehicles and then this little button that says record when you hit that and then drive it will record where you went and then it will make create a path for the AI to follow. So first let me drag all of the vehicles off of the track because they're in the way. This is the. Uh, well, now that we've cleared the track, um, I'm gonna reset the vehicle. I'm gonna reset my steering wheel. Okay, so pause the game, and then if you hit this little record button, it will start recording the path. So then I'm just going to do a lap around. stop them on the apron. I like to pull them off the track because it just looks a little more realistic for when they stop moving. You don't have to do that. Actually, I'm going to take this guy moving a little further off the track. But you don't have to do that. So now we get the second guy, the second truck, and record his line too. It's important when you're doing the top line and the bottom line, like I did for this example. It's important that they don't cross into each other because then the line will fly which is the exact opposite of what we're trying to do. So, now I'm going around the corner here. It's not, this part of the process is really just boring and not fun, but once you finish this, then you can get to the fun part of d making crashes. So now we got the third truck. Here. When you're doing the cars behind in the line, at least for this, since this guy's like the second row at the bottom, you want to try to follow the first path as much as possible. You want to break the middle, enter the corner a little bit slower just so they don't rear end each other. So when you're doing like 
20 cars and two lines of 10 cars, it's important when you're doing like the 10th car in line to make sure he doesn't go flying in 10 times faster than he was, because that would just result in a, a crash, which is kind of the opposite of what you want when you're doing script AI, because you really want them to be not crashing into each other until you cause the crash, because then it'll be more realistic that way. So this is the fourth truck, so last one. Now this is a short track, so it's a little bit different than what I would do for a super speedway. So I might make a super speedway attempt later. Or actually, I'll just do an I'll do another example in this video too, just so I can cover all the bases. So yeah, now we're finishing this guy, just pulling him down to the bottom of the track. It doesn't really matter what you do once you're once they're done. It, I just like to bring them to a stop because it's a little realistic. So when, you, when you're when you done, what you should do is you should save it. So if you hit this little, um, honestly, I don't know what that is, but if you hit that button and then and then um, you can change the file name, you can save it. And so like when you hit this little file button, you can load up the saved recording. So I save mine as like Talladega, Spa, Daytona, Charlotte. Like that's just... I just save it to whatever track name it is. You don't have to do that, but it's just easier for me to find them later. Anyway, so now we're testing. So we, I hit that play button to test what I have done. So here we go. This should, this will probably be bad. Because I didn't really do a lot of testing. So you see, they're following the path I just recorded. That's part of why this is annoying and difficult. So they're just going to fly into the inside and then it'll restart the recording. So that was, okay, I'm going to shut them off now, but that was, this is how I make my AI. So this is a short track example. I think I will do a super speedway just so you guys can see. So we'll do, um, Uh, let's just do Daytona. I've been, I just made like a ton of Daytona. So I made a 36 car pack at Daytona. So it's really like the same principles, just um, at Daytona. So let me, uh, let me get my truck where I want. I, I like to for serious speedways. I like to start them in the travel. I've seen people start them on the back stretch. It doesn't particularly matter. Just personal preference, honestly. So I'm gonna find my truck again, and we'll do four. Again, so for super speedways, since you want them to be bumper to bumper and like a three wide pack, what I always do is I start them bumper to bumper like this, instead of spacing them like I would at like a short track or an intermediate. It does. It really just makes it more realistic. So you see, we got these guys, and I got dragged the other ones out of the way. Oops. This guy doesn't really want to move. So, there, once you, so like, this is just pretty much the same. Oh, I moved all of them. Darn it, that was the wrong guy. <laughs> I've been doing this for two years and I still make stupid mistakes. So if you start, if you follow this tutorial and it doesn't work out well, just know that it's, this is something that's boring and difficult. So anyway, now that I have I'm hitting the record button again, and we're going to go around. This is going to be on the bottom lane. Right? So when you get to the longer tracks like this, this is going to just be really boring. Yeah, so I'm like, since, since, since if I was doing like two or three wide, this is the bottom lane. You want to try to keep it on the bottom as much as possible. Just because you can, like, in real life, button you can press here. I'm just going to do demonstration. I don't usually use this because I feel like I'm out of control when I do this, but there's a button right here where my mouse is where it says fast forward. So if you click that, if it accelerates the line, you can see I just put an extra 
works really fast, but also out of control. I don't like to use that. Sorry, I brought the console there. Okay, so that was the first truck, so you want to reset this one. I like to pause the game and then just make sure my wheel is actually facing the right direction. So, just more of the same. You want to make sure you follow the super speedways, especially. It's very important to follow the line and try to get as close as possible. Because when they get on top of each other and underneath each other, they tend to spin out and constantly crashes, which occasionally. They will do that by themselves if they have a really good AI pack, but it's really important to use the regular So just the same process. And then we may not like to run. Since we have a break from it, I want to make a thank you guys for coming to subscribers I've gotten recently. It's been awesome to see how much this channel has grown. I'm just also very proud of the Red 6 project. this guy to the bottom, you know, pause and hit the stop recording button, and then you know, the third guy in line. As you can see, this gets very boring and tedious, especially when I, like, in this new Daytona, I just got a, I recorded a 36 car back, it took forever, but since I'm using this just a truck, which is the slower vehicle thing, which I think is a big thing. drive it into another car, like turn it on a fire, all sorts of stuff. Try to mix it up. I feel like I know what you're talking about. But if you guys have any questions or suggestions for more tutorials, like paint schemes, more lines, since I've seen a lot of that, I would definitely make it work. Just I would have to. If you have any other ideas for tutorials on things that I do in the videos that you would like to,
Alright, so pause the game. Now I'm going to hit play because I finished recording it. So what you can also do to keep them in a tighter pack is hit the clutch on the car and slow it down. The other one can bounce off of it while traveling and put it in the tighter. You don't have to do that. I have to do that with the car that's going to be too far ahead of the ride flight. So you see they're following. That's good. That's, I like this camera because it's watching the test and it's here, right? So you see they're following the path I, we've just made and out of control, which is like real life. So, yep, they're on the back stretch. So, you can see where this went wrong, and you can, like, they're kind of all over the place. Oh, I thought they were going to crash there. So, you can see this is, is just according to the test. There's a way to hit for it to stop looping the recording. If you hit um, this, if you hit more and then hit the button that says loop, it will stop looping the recording. But that's not. You don't really have to do that because I usually just shut them off before they hit the end. So then there's one other thing I would like to show you guys, and this is the gearing for the cars. So I'm just gonna spawn in. Um, uh, like this is. I saved this config for the Gen 7. It's the my Super Speedway AI with no blowover mod enabled. So I'll just spawn that in for this because I want to show you that I messed with. There's what I figured out, and I'm pretty sure try Nitro Toyuin Man. This is the one who I learned this from. I can't remember. I wasn't from him directly, but I think it was from like I Can't Drive. But um, what you do is. If you mess with the gearing of first gear and then take out the restrictor plate, it won't stall. So if you go to gearing, or like tuning, and then you go to the um, the, the transmission and you go to gear ratios, I put mine at 4.95 to 1. It helps them not stall. So then when you play this, with this these cars, they don't stall out. But it's the same process for road courses. It's a little bit, um, they're pretty, they are really dumb on road courses. I can say that from experience. They do not understand how to make corners. Like, I, I've been trying to get a successful AI at Watkins Glen turn one for, like, a year. So, like, if you ever wonder why I have no road courses in my videos half the time, it's because it's a real pain in the butt to set up. Uh, any, anyway, I think that's covered all the bases. If you have any other questions, please leave some comments. And remember to like and subscribe so we can try to hit a 1,000 subscribers. And um, definitely also leave some comments to recommend some more tutorial ideas you would have. And I, I think that's it. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'm LDog48Gaming, and I, I hope you can make your own script. Yeah, I know. So bye.